we don't want anything else. We just think that enough is enough. We need peace. A typical sunny day welcomes participants to the Sama Peace Building Institute in Verman for a three-week program on conflict transformation across cultures. A rich diversity of people with years of experience in conflict and its prevention from around the world come together to share their experiences and learn from each other. The workshop begins. Participants decide which topics they want to focus on and activities they would like to pursue. A calendar is charted out on how the training would proceed. Thus begins a new day with morning rituals performed by one group and joined in unison by others. somebody use this code it means that when you want to even if you have, can have few things when there is no hatred when there is peace it can be used it's also a time for silence and reflection before the rigors of the day begins Contact stands for Conflict Transformation Across Cultures. It's an international summer peace building institute that takes place in the U.S. every year. And its purpose is to bring together people working for social change, peace and justice in various countries of the world to build a learning community where we exchange best practices and um, develop communities that will carry on peace building in the future. Contact is an interactive laboratory where group members explore their differences, test their beliefs and air views on a variety of topics. With its rich diversity of participants come varied perspectives. It's time for students to listen and reflect upon the things they have heard and learned. With its rich diversity of participants come varied perspectives, experiences of conflict and its resolution, and stories of personal and community tragedies which changed their lives forever. Transmission of suffering and reconciliation crosses all the boundaries, and you're learning from karma. Dialogues that go deep and rich that we have in other parts of the world is that in the beginning, I think we all have this desire to sort of, if we're peacemakers at heart, to kind of leapfrog to the place of peace and harmony and where we can all connect and feel like brothers and sisters. Putting themselves in a kind of comfort situation to just free this free stuff that to spend. I'm pushing back. I'm pushing back. I don't want to give ground because I don't want to let her win. I don't want to listen to her or receive what she's saying because I'm afraid I'm going to lose my ground. So I'm pushing back. But then what Contact forms a basis for the process of training. A new generation of peace builders will carry out the work of conflict prevention and resolution around the globe. That allows us to coexist 
in the, in, the, in, in the realm that we can continue to appreciate our diversity. We, we, we ask ourselves, is, uh, it's good to, to leave it and do it in the next generation or I don't, I don't know how to do it because we... We imagine as a follow-up to each other. together a mix of participants. This year there were over 70 from over 30 countries and I like putting all the people in one room and stirring the pot and seeing what comes up. And people find us from all over the world, sometimes from other participants, often from someone in their organization or just by scanning the web. And they make application and we read and select very carefully based on the best applications and looking for a mix of gender, conflicts, regions, ethnicities, and backgrounds. Most of our people work in the uh, NGO community, but some work in other sectors as well. Outside the classroom, learning and sharing of knowledge continues. Participants present stories and information about conflicts in their countries. They learn to reflect on their own lives by considering conflict and tragedy occurring elsewhere. <laughs>